update on the new bike shop that I'm trying. Um, well, five and a half hours sat in the sunlight. I'm too fucking Caucasian for that. I'm burnt to a crisp. Um, I don't know if it's the fact that the bike hasn't been serviced regularly or if it's seized up with the spark plugs and the oil filter or if it's a fact that it's the mechanic. I don't know. I took it in to get serviced and it was five and a half hours and me sat in the fucking burning sun waiting for it to get done. A bit pissed off at first because it's some girl working on it. I've got no issues with girls working on bikes. But when I say girl, I mean teenager. She's not qualified. She's a fucking apprentice. And the other guy in the workshop was constantly smoking weed. She didn't even know that she was in a confined area with some druggy smoking fucking weed. Until I, until I said about it because I couldn't stay in the room because it was that fucking strong. Um, the main guy, the main mechanic... I don't know. I've done my own research. I used to do my own servicing. Uh, to take the spark plugs out, the top coils, they are stiff because that's the nature of the fucking things. It's, it's a 1,000cc bike. They get stiff within. You've got to wiggle them hard to get them out. Uh, he wasn't willing to try. Oh, they might break. They might break. I don't know if he tried to use an oil filter spanner uh, socket to get the oil, uh, to change the oil filter or if he just put a strap on it. I don't know. But he reckons he tried for hours and he couldn't get it off. I don't know if it's a fact that it's drugs that's making him capable of doing it or if it's a fact that maybe it's a fucked up service from the last person who did the service and things have seized up. I don't know. So... I, I, don't, I honestly don't know if it is him or if it's the bike or whatever. Basically, what he's gonna wants to do now is have the bike for a day or two. I don't have any other transport. I'm not a car driver. I can't walk because of the damage to my hips. So... I don't know. It's a case of I got fucked off at the last shop I was in for different reasons. But they would at least do the fucking job of a service. And they have a decent kitted out workshop with space to actually work. Whereas this guy is more backstreet kind of place. You know, loads of scrap bikes everywhere. Which, yeah, is a good thing. But not when you're sitting around smoking weed. You do that shit in your own time, not when you're working. And the fact that you've got them walking around with fucking joints in their mouth... No, I mean, I'll, I'll probably take the bike back to get it, to hopefully get it fixed, get the service done. Um, after that, I ain't going back. He does buy booze off me. He's, you know, I'll go in there with like a few litres of fucking homemade spirits and I'll buy some. But getting worked on the bike, if I'm paying peak rate fucking hours, I mean, I only paid 100 quid. It's a lot of fucking money just to basically get an air filter changed. But, um, I don't know. I'll, I'll probably go there and get what I've ordered done, done. Jesus Christ, my hair's gone white. That's a fucking sunlight. It was brown this morning. It's now completely fucking, oh, Jesus Christ. I'm not buying hair dye in that vein. Um, I'll probably go back to get the shit sorted that I've ordered because I've ordered the parts to get done for like the oil filter, spark plugs and um, spotlights. So I'll probably get that done, but no, going back for any more work, I doubt it. I seriously fucking doubt it. I mean, going there for an MOT, fine. That's like a half hour job. And it's not a lot involved. It's just wiggle, wiggle, flash, flash, wiggle, wiggle, flash, flash. That's basically it. Whereas going there for a service, I can't just walk away and leave the bike alone because it's an hour bus journey getting home and a 45-minute hobble because I can't walk. 
to get back to the house. So we're talking basically two or three hours round trip and me in constant fucking pain if I've got to leave the bike there, which he's all about doing. Um, don't know if he's got a spare bike I could fucking borrow that works. Yeah, I'll probably go back and get what I've started getting done, 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 done. So that's the oil filter. See, I, I don't know if he actually tried to use a spanner on it or if he just used a strap. Because if he just used a strap, it crushes the fucking uh, filter on there. I don't know. But the spark plug caps, they're not that much of an issue. I mean, if you can, you can twist them and you can wiggle them, then it's just a case of pulling them straight upwards. But he was doing it in a way where, I don't know, one of the biggest hassles with weed, aside from it being an airborne brain damaging narcotic, is that um, it makes you paranoid, big time. And if you're paranoid about, not paranoid is not just about somebody who's talking about me, it's about every aspect. Like, if you do something, is it going to explode? If you touch something, will the planet explode? If you touch a spark plug coil, will it snap off in your hand? So that could be an issue. That with the paranoia from the weed. It's a bit tight, I might snap it. So that, that could be an issue as well. Whereas the two gimp boys over in Minehead. Oh, fucking burning up. Yeah, they're the, the straight, they're the gayest, the straightest gay. They they do the work, but I always get this impression that there's like Irish in them, and Irish mentality is why do a good job today you can be proud of when you can fuck it up on purpose and make more money out of it tomorrow. That's what goes through my mind. There's a couple of incidences with them where they have. Try screwing me over. But it's a case of, because I damaged my wrist with the tendon damage and the nerve damage and the ligaments, I can't grip a screwdriver to actually do the work properly. There's a 90% like, chance it'll just fly off and gouge chunks out of me or the bike. Which is a pain in the ass. So the new bike shop, um, getting an MOT, yeah. Having a chat, yeah. Selling in booze, yeah. Getting a service, no. I'd rather pay more money and go to the fucking shop in Minehead where there's more chance of it getting done. And if it doesn't get fucking done when it's supposed to, it's like a five, ten quid taxi ride to get home. Or it's about two and a half, three mile walk. Which would take me about three fucking hours because of the damage. But, um, yeah. God, my fucking hair has gone so white. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's five and a half hours in blazing sunlight. And it's now quarter past one in the morning. And I'm still wide awake. 3 a.m. forts my fucking ass. Need more drink. Fuck it, spirits. I have a couple of shots that could help me relax. It's a burning that's keeping me awake right now. I'm just so fucking wrecked. Um, what's the point in this video? Yeah, new bike shop. 